Good afternoon, John with Trinity Roofing and Restoration on behalf of Sandra Sadler. We are going to make a, a repair attempt on her three tab shingle. This one, as you can see, all three tabs are sealed, so we are going to make an attempt of this repair. In order to do that, we have to lift this row of shingles, including this one that overlaps, to expose all of the fasteners and the nail path that are holding down this shingle right here. We also have to do the same with this row of shingles because the nail path of, the, of holding in this row also goes into the very top of this shingle. So we're gonna have to loosen two rows of shingles and remove the nails from them. That's what we're gonna do right now. And then we are going to attempt to set the shingle back in place once it's been pulled out and not damage it in the process. There's always the objective. We are going to break the seal of this shingle. These tabs are loose. We also need to break this seal. a little bit of damage on that shingle. That should do it. All right, so now we have to remove the nails holding in the shingle. Pop it up. Just for reference, it is 90 plus degrees outside. So these shingles should still have some pliability in them based on temperature. They shouldn't crack or crease because of temperature. That nail doesn't overlap, so we're not gonna mess with that one. This one and this one do it. All right, we should be able to remove this shingle now. We are able to do so. Okay, so now that we have it removed, we have to go back with installation. When we go back with installation, we're putting the shingle back in place. We're going to re-secure it. When we re-secure it, we need to be able to lift this shingle and this shingle up to at least uh, a 90 degree angle, not perpendicular to the deck, but perpendicular to an imaginary line that comes straight out from me and 90 degrees up. That way I can safely swing the hammer and secure the nails where they are supposed to be. In the process of doing that, if it cracks, creases, tears, folds, or completely obl obliterates the shingle, then we know that this roof cannot be properly repaired. We're going to line it up to where it was before. We're gonna start fastening. So, in order to put this nail in, we're gonna be lifting this one up. One, two, three. As you can see, granular loss has occurred. This is compromising the structural integrity of the shingle. This is going to occur several times as I'm fastening these back in because I have to be able to put all of those fasteners back into place. As you can see, this has resulted in the compromise of the structural integrity of the shingle and therefore fails this test. 
subscribe.